What if I told you that your body is not just a machine, but a super machine, filled with mysteries more intriguing than any sci-fi movie? Ever wonder how your organs actually work, or why they're even shaped the way they are? Today, we're going to dive into the world of anatomy and physiology and unlock the secrets hidden beneath your skin. Stick around to the end because I'll share a powerful method that can help you remember this stuff forever. Welcome back to our channel where we take complex scientific ideas and make them fun and easy to understand. Before we jump into the nitty gritty of anatomy and physiology, let me share a quick story. In high school, I remember being fascinated by a science lab skeleton, wondering how each bone fit perfectly to help us stand, walk, and dance. But I also remember thinking, how does it all work? That's where the difference between anatomy and physiology becomes so important. Have you ever had a moment where you felt your heartbeat race, maybe during a scary movie or on a roller coaster, and wondered, why is my heart pounding so fast? Let's keep that question in mind, because by the end of this video, you'll know exactly why that happens. Anatomy is all about structure. Think of it as the blueprint or the map of the body, what each part looks like, how big it is, and where it's located. Ever played with building blocks as a kid? Anatomy is like discovering each block and seeing how they fit together to form a castle, or in this case, a human body. Physiology deals with function. It's about understanding how those blocks work together to pump blood, breathe in oxygen, digest food, and do all the amazing things that keep us alive. If anatomy is the map, physiology is the journey, what roads you take, how fast you travel, and why you might take a detour when something goes wrong. By the way, can you imagine what happens when the structure of the heart changes? The function changes too, big time. Stay tuned for more on that. Let's go beyond definitions. Suppose you're a sports fan. When an athlete sprains their ankle, the doctor will first want to understand the anatomical damage. Are the ligaments torn or is the bone fractured? Then they'll dive into the physiological aspect. How does this injury affect blood flow, swelling, and overall healing? 1. Surgery during surgery, a surgeon navigates through the body using their knowledge of anatomy to avoid major blood vessels and nerves, but they also rely on physiology to understand how the body will respond to anesthesia, how tissues heal, and how to control bleeding. Fitness and exercise. Ever tried to build bigger muscles? The anatomical perspective examines the muscle's size, shape, and location. Physiology explains how your muscle fibers adapt to weight training, how oxygen delivery changes, and why protein is essential for recovery. Digging deeper, methods and applications. Anatomy methods. Anatomy is often studied with tools like dissection and modern imaging, like MRIs or X-rays. You can think of it as peering into a puzzle box, carefully figuring out how each piece is shaped. Physiology methods. Physiology is more like a detective's investigation measuring blood pressure, analyzing hormone levels, or using specialized equipment to track brain activity. It's about finding clues to how and why the body works the way it does. Ever wonder how doctors find out if you have a hormone imbalance or how they know if your heart is beating normally? It's all in the physiological data they measure. And if you're curious, I'll share a simple trick to remember key differences at the end. Anatomy and physiology are inseparable much like two sides of the same coin. If your knee joint is out of alignment, anatomy, your walking pattern, physiology, will suffer. Or if your thyroid gland isn't producing enough hormones, physiology, your growth and metabolism might be affected, changing your physical structure, anatomy, over time. They're always working together, even if we often study them separately. When I first learned about the human heart, I was amazed by how the four chambers look so simple, Yet the way they pump blood is anything but simple. That's when it hit me. Structure sets the stage, but function puts on the show. Still with me? Great. Here's a quick method to remember what's what. Associate A for anatomy with appearance and P for physiology with performance. If you can picture that, you'll never mix them up again. But maybe you're thinking, okay, I get what they are, but how do I actually learn and memorize all these details? In our next video, I'll reveal an easy step-by-step -step plan to create mind-blowing visual memory aids for both anatomy and physiology. 
So subscribe now and hit that bell if you want to level up your learning skills. We've just scratched the surface of this amazing topic. If you found this video helpful, give it a thumbs up. Let's keep the conversation going. Drop a comment below about a time you realized how complex the human body can be. If you're new here, consider subscribing for more fascinating explorations into science, health, and beyond. Share this video with friends who also geek out on learning how the body works. Let's spread the knowledge together. Thanks for watching and see you in the next video.